welcome to my channel easy learning so regarding the chapter nutrition and plants already the two videos i have uploaded at my channel i have completed the chapter the whole explanation of the chapter is given in the two videos so today i would like to discuss the ncrt solutions of that particular chapter nutrition and plants so let us discuss or let us see what are the solutions of the uh, questions and mcqs and fill in the blanks which is given in the ncrt textbook so let us start the ncrt solutions the the solving of the ncrt solutions the questions which is given in the ncrt textbook based on the first chapter that is nutrition and plants and the link of the two videos it is given there in the description box at the same time it is that particular video two videos and then you can watch the third video that is regarding the solutions of that particular chapter so let us start regarding the ncrt solution so here in the exercises which is given there in the textbook first i will read the questions and then and then i will explain the answer for that so here the first question in the exercise given it is why do organism need to take food so why the food is necessary for the organism that is the question so mainly the food organism they need food for growth then repair of their body parts and it provides energy for performing all the life processes so that is regarding the first answer that is why do organism need to take food second question is distinguish between a parasite and a saprotroph parasite and a saprotroph so regarding the parasite parasite means the organism which derives the nutrients from the host that is known as the parasite parasite it derives the nutrients from host plant and saprotroph means organism which use saprotrophic mode of nutrition so that is the second question the distinguish between parasite and saprotroph parasite means the organism which derives the nutrients from the host plant and the saprotroph means the organism which use saprotrophic mode of nutrition so saprotrophic mode of nutrition means what the mode of nutrition in which the organism consumes the nutrients in the form of solution from the dead and decaying organic matter so next comes the third how would you test the presence of starch in leaves so regarding the presence of starch in leaves for that activity we take two potted plants one potted plant we keep it in dark room and the other one keep it under sunlight and then after 3 to 4 days we will take that pot which is kept in the dark room and then we will keep it under the sunlight so after that after the keeping it in the sunlight after 3 to 4 days we pluck the leaf from the plant and then we perform the iodine test so when we put one drop of iodine on top of that leaf then we can observe that the uh, color of the leaf it changes into blue or black in color which shows that the starch is present there in the leaf this is a simple activity which you have to learn in this class regarding that starch is present there in the leaves next we will move on to the next question that is the fourth one give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in green plants so regarding the process of photosynthesis it is so here leaf is considered to be the food factory and the 
uh, main raw materials which is needed for the process of photosynthesis it is carbon dioxide and water so the carbon dioxide it is obtained for the leaf through stomata the tiny pores which is present there in the leaf on the surface of the leaf so it helps to absorb the carbon dioxide gas which is needed for the leaf for the preparation of the food then water and minerals which is present there in the soil it is absorbed by the root and then it is been transported through the conducting tissues from the root to the stem and then it reaches the leaves so water and along with the carbon dioxide again two other materials is also needed which helps in the process of photosynthesis one it is the sunlight and the other one is the chlorophyll so the chlorophyll means it is a green pigment which is present there in the leaf so this chlorophyll it helps to absorb the sunlight energy or the solar energy and then it uh, carbon dioxide and water into the chemical energy that is a carbohydrate will be formed okay so so in the process of photosynthesis solar energy is converted into chemical energy so the carbon dioxide and water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight it produces carbon uh, carbohydrate and oxygen so carbohydrate is the food which is prepared by the plant during the process of photosynthesis so uh, last you can write the definition for photosynthesis photosynthesis means it is a method of preparing the food by the plants by utilizing carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and energy to produce carbohydrate okay next we move on to the next question that is fifth one show with the help of the sketch that the plants are the ultimate source of the food so that particular diagram it is already there in the ncert textbook in page number 3 figure 1.3 that is the fifth answer fifth answer the page number is 3 it is figure 1.3 the next part that is fill in the blanks So first question regarding fill in the fill in the fill in the blanks it is that green plants are called dash since they synthesize their own food. So green plants are they are considered to be autotrophs. So the answer it is autotrophs. Then B the food synthesized by the plant is stored as so the food synthesized by the plants it is stored in the form as starch c in photosynthesis solar energy is captured by the pigment called so in the both anti pigment which is present there in the leaf it is known as the chlorophyll d during photosynthesis plants take in dash and release what so which gas is taken by the plants during the process of photosynthesis the plants they take carbon dioxide and during the process of photosynthesis they release what oxygen next question that is seventh one it is name the following a parasitic plant with yellow and slender and tubular stem so last video when i am taking the class I have explained regarding the heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Under that, I have told about parasitic mode of nutrition about the particular plant which does not have chlorophyll. It is yellow in color. It climbs on the particular plant on which it is growing. Name uh, it is amarbel. Otherwise, it is known as cascata. Second one. the plant that has both autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition and also in the last video i have told the uh, a plant that has both autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition so autotrophic mode of nutrition means what the plants they have the capacity for producing the food at the same time this plant it undergoes heterotrophic mode of nutrition also that is they consume other organism so by giving this hint itself i hope that you have you know the answer that is the insectivorous plants so the example for insectivorous plant it is the pitcher plant third one the pores through which leaves exchange gases so which is the minute pores which is present there on the surface of the leaf it is the stomata next 
multiple choice pick the correct answer amar belt is an example of autotroph parasite saprotroph host so amar belt is an example of parasite second one the plant which traps and feeds on insects is cascata china rose pitcher plant rose so from the four options we know that the answer it is pitcher plant next true or false before that match the following is there anyway as the following i will write on the board and then we will discuss so regarding true or false carbon dioxide is released during photosynthesis whether it is true or false so during the process of photosynthesis carbon dioxide is not released what is released oxygen is released so it is a false statement second one the plants which synthesize their food themselves are called saprotrophs so already i have explained that the plants which prepare their own food they are known as the autotrophs but here in the question it is given it as saprotrophs so the statement it is false third one the product of photosynthesis is not a protein what is the product of photosynthesis the product of photosynthesis it is carbohydrate so it is not a protein so the statement it is true fourth one solar energy is converted into chemical energy during the process of photosynthesis so during the explanation of fourth answer itself again i have told this sentence that the solar energy is converted into chemical energy during the process of photosynthesis and solar energy is converted into chemical energy so that so the statement it is true again two more choose the correct answer questions which part of the plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air for photosynthesis so which part of the plant is taking carbon dioxide from the air carbon dioxide is present there in the atmosphere so for the process of photosynthesis which part of the plant is taking food root hair stomata leaf veins sepals these are the four options given so from the four options we know that the correct answer it is stomata because i have told regarding the functions of stomata the two main function one it is the exchange of gases and the other one it is transpiration next choose the correct answer option from the following plant take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mainly through the air dash once again i'll repeat the question plant take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mainly through the air dash root stem flower and leaves so here this is the same two type of question but it is uh, asked in a different manner one it is asked regarding the inner part of the plant or present which is present in the leaf which helps for taking carbon dioxide whereas here which are the main part of the plant which is helps in absorbing the carbon dioxide so the main part of the plant which helps in absorbing the carbon dioxide it is the through which the carbon dioxide enters it is the leaves okay so the correct answer it is leaves so now we move on to match the following so in match the following i will write two columns which is given there in the textbook and then we will match it this is ninth question you will write this a and b two columns first one it is chlorophyll second one it is nitrogen third one amar bell fourth one animals and fifth one insects so column 2 in the b column we will write first bacteria second heterotroph third pitcher plant fourth one leaf and fifth one parasite either you can do either you can do matching 
or you can write the numbers which is given here. Okay, so now I will do the matching first. First one it is chlorophyll. So chlorophyll means maybe if you can think that whether the option given it may be a green pigment or where it is present like that options will be given. We will see bacteria, heterotroph, pitcher plant, leaf and parasite. So from this we can know that the chlorophyll is present where in which part of the plant? It is present there in the leaf. Second one nitrogen present in the soil which is a very important nutrient which is needed for the healthy growth of the plant. So in order to absorb nitrogen from the atmosphere, who is helping the plant? The bacteria is helping the plant. I have told when I explained the chapter that the name of the bacteria is rhizobium bacteria which helps to convert the gaseous nitrogen into soluble form or usable form for the plants. So the nitrogen, it, the correct answer it is bacteria. Third one, it is amarbel. Amarbel already discussed now itself. Amarbel, it is a plant. What type of plant it is? It is a parasitic plant. Animals. So here again two options only remaining. One it is a heterotroph and pitcher plant. So animals, which mode of nutrition they undergo? They undergo the heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So they are known as heterotrophs. And the last one it is the insects, insectivorous plant, one example it is the pitcher plant. So that is regarding the massa following. So here I have explained all the questions which is given there in the textbook. Some lesson based that is in between the lessons you may get few questions. So you have to read the chapter thoroughly in order to answer those questions. Uh, maximum all the questions will be coming from this NCRT solution itself even though you should make a habit to read the chapter uh, and understand the lesson. So do watch the video, the two videos which I have uploaded in my channel based on this chapter. First watch that video and then in the third video you will be getting the NCRT solution that is all the solutions of all the questions which is given at the back of that lesson. Okay, I hope you have understood all the answers which I have discussed in this particular video. So, thank you children.